Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today let us start the third session on percentages. Now let us look into the first question in this chapter. In an examination, a girl scores 41 percent of maximum marks and pass by 6 marks. A boy scores 29 percent of maximum marks and fails by 18 marks. Find the maximum marks in the examination. Now to solve this problem, we have two different methods. Now the first method is assuming a variable for maximum marks. Now let us start solving this problem. If I assume let the maximum marks in the examination is x then what are the marks scored by girl? Marks scored by girl is 41 percent of maximum marks. So, 41 percent of x. So, mark scored by girl is 41 by 100 into x but she passed by 6 marks. So, what are the marks required to pass? Now, marks required to pass will be 41 by 100 x minus 6 because she passed by 6 marks. That is, she scored 6 marks more than the marks required to pass. So, definitely the marks required to pass will be 6 less than the marks she scored. Now, next, what are the marks scored by boy? Now, in the question it is given, a boy scores 29 percent of maximum marks. So, the marks scored by boy should be 29 by 100 into x. And it is given that he fails by 18 marks. That is, he scored 18 marks less than the marks required to pass. So, marks required to pass will be 29 by 100 into x plus 18. Now, here both the girl and boy are writing the same examination. So, definitely for both boy as well as girl, the marks required to pass should be equal. So, here I can write like this now. When I talk with respect to girl, marks required to pass is 41 by 100 into x minus 6. And when I talk with respect to boy, marks required to pass will be 29 by 100 into x plus 18. Both should be equal. So, we solve the problem like this. 41 x by 100 minus 6 should be equal to 29 x by 100 plus 18. Now, solving this 41 x by 100 minus 29 x by 100 gives us 18 plus 6. If you solve this, you get 12 x by 100 equal to 24. So, x is 24 into 100 by 12. Now, take this 12 by 100 to the other side. So, it becomes 100 by 12. Now, 12 twos. So, x is 200. So, the maximum marks. Now, what is x here in this problem? What we assume? x in this problem is maximum marks and in the question also it is asked find the maximum marks in the examination. So, the maximum marks in the examination is 200. Now, this is one method to solve this particular problem which is a general method by using a variable x. Now, let us see an alternate method to solve this particular problem in a very simple way. 
Now, in that method, we try to compare the percentages of boy and girl and the marks of boy and girl. Now, let us solve the same problem in the next method. Now, in this method, once again, let us look into the question. Girl, she scored 41 percent of maximum marks. Boy scored 29 percent of maximum marks. Now, what should be the maximum marks here? Now, what do you mean by 41 percent of maximum marks? It means that if maximum marks are 100, girl scores 41. So, generally we assume the maximum marks as 100 percent. Now, let us try to compare the percentages of girl and boy and the marks of girl and boy. Now, talking about girl and boy, what is the percentage scored by girl? The percentage scored by girl is 41 percent and the percentage scored by boy is 29 percent. Now, what is the difference in their percentage or I can ask you girl scored how much percent more than boy that is I am asking you the difference. Now, the difference in the percentage scored by girl and boy is 12 percent that is girl scored 12 percent more than boy. Now, coming back to the question in the question it is given girl she passed by 6 marks that is she scored 6 marks more than the marks required to pass and boy failed by 18 marks it is boy scored 18 marks less than the marks required to pass. So, definitely what is the difference in the marks scored by girl and boy? Generally here many of the students have a confusion whether it is 12 or 24. Now, put a question to yourself a simple logical question. A girl passed by 5 marks, boy fails by 5 marks. What should be the difference? Will it be 0 or 10? Definitely it should be 10. In the same way here girl passed by 6 marks, boy failed by 18 marks. So, the difference in the marks scored by them or you can write like this 6 minus of minus 18 which is 6 plus 18 24 marks. Now, the difference with respect to percentage is 12 and the difference with respect to marks is 24. So, 12 percent should be equal to 24 marks and 1 percent will be equal to 2 marks. So, what is 100 percent? 100 percent will be equal to 200 marks. So, the maximum marks in the examination is 200. So, this is how you can solve this problem in both the methods. The first method by assuming the maximum marks as a variable x and in this second method using this simple idea. Now, let us try to solve another problem. Now, let us solve another problem of the same model in both the methods using variable and without using variable. In an examination, a girl scored 39 percent of maximum marks and passed by 18 marks. A boy scored 23 percent of maximum marks and fails by 14 marks. What is the percentage required to pass? Now, if I use variables to solve this problem, once again I have to start with let the maximum marks in the examination is x. So, marks scored by girl will be equal to 39 percent of maximum marks. It is 39 by 100 into x. So, marks scored by girl is 39 by 100 into x. So, what are the marks required to pass? Now, in the question it is given girl scored 39 percent of maximum marks and passed by 18 marks. That is she scored 18 marks more than the marks required to pass. So, what will be the marks required to pass will be 
39 x by 100 minus 18. Now, these are the marks required to pass with respect to girl. Now, let us talk with respect to boy. Now, what is the percentage scored by boy? Boy scored 23 percent of maximum marks. So, marks scored by boy will be 23 by 100 into x. Now, with respect to boy, let us see what are the marks required to pass. Now, in the question it is given, boy scored 23 percent of maximum marks and fails by 14 marks. That is, he got 14 marks less than the marks required to pass. That means, to pass, he requires 14 more marks than what he scored. So, marks required to pass. This is with respect to boy, it should be 23 x by 100 plus 14. Now, we see here with respect to girl, marks required to pass is 39 x by 100 minus 18 and with respect to boy, it is 23 x by 100 plus 14. Definitely both should be equal. Now, let us equate both 39 x by 100 minus 18 will be equal to 23 x by 100 plus 14. Now, solving this 39 x by 100 minus 23 x by 100 should be equal to 14 plus 18. So, 16 x by 100 will be equal to 32 or x will be equal to 32 into 100 by 16. Now, 16 twos. So, the maximum marks in this exam is 200, but in the question it is given what is the percentage required to pass? That is how much percentage should a student score to pass? For that, we require what are the marks he requires to pass. Now, we already know the maximum marks in the exam. The maximum marks in the exam is 200. So, marks required to pass. Now, you can tell this either with respect to girl or with respect to boy. Now, let us talk with respect to girl. It is 39 by 100 into 200 minus 18. Now, solving this 39 into 2, 78, 78 minus 18. 60. So, marks required to pass is 60. Now, what is the percentage required to pass? Percentage required to pass will be equal to 60 that is the marks required to pass by maximum marks into 100. Solving this, you get answer as 30 percent. So, percentage required to pass for any student in the examination will be 30 percent. Now, let us look into the alternate method of solving this problem. Now, if you look carefully in this method, we have to do lots and lots of steps to solve this particular problem using a variable. Now, how to solve this problem in a very simple way? Let us see it in the next method. Now, the alternate method to solve this problem in a very simple way. Comparison of percentages comparison of marks. Now, what is the percentage scored by girl? Now, the percentage scored by girl is 39 percent and the percentage scored by boy is 23 percent. Now, what is the difference? Now, the difference in the percentage scored by girl and boy is 16 percent. That is, girl scored 16 percent more than boy. Now, in the question it is given girl passed by 18 marks that is she scored 18 marks more than the marks required to pass and the boy failed by 14 marks. So, boy scored 14 marks less than the marks required to pass. Now, what is the difference in their marks? 18 minus of minus 14 that is 18 plus 14 32 marks. Now, with respect to percentage, 
it is the difference in the percentage scored by boy and girl is 16 percent and with respect to marks the difference in marks scored by girl and boy is 32 percent. So, 16 percent should be equal to 32 marks and 1 percent will be equal to 2 marks. Now, question is what is the percentage required to pass? Now, you can tell the answer for this question from girl or from boy. Now, if I want to tell the answer from girl, girl she passed by 18 marks that is she scored 18 marks more than the marks required to pass. So, 18 marks in terms of percentage will be how much percentage? 2 marks is 1 percent, 18 marks should be 9 percent. So, girl scored 9 percent more than the percentage required to pass. Percentage scored by girl is 39. So, our answer should be 39 minus 9 which is 30 percent or we can tell the answer from boy. Boy scored 23 percent and he failed by 14 marks. Now, we know 2 marks is 1 percent. So, 14 marks should be 7 percent. So, boy requires 7 percent to pass. So, if I want to tell the answer from boy, it should be 23 plus 7 30 percent. So, either you can tell the answer from girl or you can tell the answer from boy. You get the same answer that is 30 percent. So, these are the two methods in which you can solve this problem. Obviously, you can see this is the best method to answer this question in a very simple way. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at www.youtube.com slash nourishit.